This is um, August the 12th, 1997, and I'm Dad, obviously. Um, the purpose of this tape is to document uh, Mom and mine, our adoption process of you two. Uh, it's been a very frustrating couple of months already. The uh, adoption process started in May. Frankly, it's taking a lot longer than we had envisioned. Uh, you see, your mom and I got married back in 1988. Uh, we started to try to have children about 10 or 11 months later. And for whatever reason, uh, that didn't happen. It was very frustrating, a lot of tears, a lot of misunderstandings, a lot of frustration. We weren't sure why couldn't have children, biological children. And then uh, several, well, two, three years ago, and I felt very impressed to look into adoption. Uh, well, it took your mom a couple of years to agree for different reasons, which uh, brings us to this point. We are interested in you two, and to be <laughs> perfectly clear. We don't even know who you two are at this point. We don't have any pictures. We don't have any names. Uh, we don't know anything about you at this point because the adoption process is so early. So new to us anyway. Uh, I can't tell you how excited I am to have you two in our home. Uh, we're getting things ready. We, I, I had some bookshelves bookshelves built here in the office uh, so we can make room for you two upstairs. Mom's going to be putting her office down here with, with mine so you can have your own bedrooms. Uh, little Ashley's here, a little dog. And you have a, a nice house to live in and we're very excited to have you part of our family. We really care about you guys a lot. We're praying for you every day, uh, sometimes several times a day. We don't even know how old you, you are, so at this point it's a little uh, uncomfortable even talking about you when I don't even know really who you are at this point. But I wanted you to know that we love you very, very much, and uh, I'll be updating you soon so that when you get bigger you'll be able to watch this tape and see Dad here uh, before he even knew you. I think it's going to be pretty fun. From my point of view, it's a little uncomfortable talking to a, a little camera here. Mm. But I'll give you a little history uh, next time, maybe, about Mom and I, how we met. Thought it might be interesting to you, as well as updates about um, you guys. Well, that's all for right now. Uh, I hope to be talking to you soon. I'll keep you updated as things happen. Okay? Love you bunch, guys. I really do. You, you have a special place right here in my heart. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay, guys. Today is the 29th of August. Just thought I'd give you a little update on what's happening. Uh, two weeks ago, we finished up the home study, or we thought we finished up the home study. We mailed it off to Nightlight, which is the agency that we're adopting you two from out in California with Ron Stoddard. Uh, we, uh, took about, I took about half a day getting the documents signed and notarized and it's called Apostille down in Annapolis, Maryland. So that, that's all done. So I got a phone call today, this afternoon actually, 
just stated that they needed another document done. That's another trip to Annapolis, but that's okay. It's worth it to get you to, no problem. I thought I'd pass on a little tidbit that was, I thought, thought pretty interesting. Um, your grandfather, Pop Pop Carver, he's been going around talking about his, quote, babies, unquote. Uh, he told me several times now he prays for you guys all the time. And he's the last person I thought would be really excited about this for different reasons. He's older and, you know, he's raised his kids almost. Uh, your Aunt Michelle's still home. She, she's 17 and a half. Uh, a couple months she'll be 18. So he's outgrown, I thought, uh, playing with babies. Evidently not. He's very excited. Uh, they're talking about uh, buying gifts and clothes. Even going to Disney World. Did you believe that already? He doesn't even know who you are and you're still going to Disney World. So uh, we're all very, very excited. Actually, I'm getting a little antsy, getting a little anxious. I don't want you here now. I can't really express to you how exciting it is. It's, it's been hard to sleep. I kind of picture you running around the house. See you know, what's what's going to be, you know, what it's going to be like having children at home. It's just it's just really exciting, and we're looking forward to it. Of course. So for right now, that's about it. I think. I just want to let you know that everybody's asking, like. Co-workers at Western Southern are asking about you all the time. Of course, folks in church are very interested in knowing what's happening. So as soon as I hear something else uh, happening, a date, travel date, or at least a picture of you two, uh, I'll be back on video again. Okay, I love you guys a lot, and I'll talk to you very soon. Okay? Okay, this is the 22nd of September, and uh, I just heard last night, last night was Sunday after church, that um, there could be a moratorium on adopting children from Russia. That means that they might be stopping it permanently or for a period of time, I'm not sure at this point. Uh, obviously, my heart is like really low. We had really planned on uh, on being home with you guys uh, no later than Christmas, maybe the end of January at the latest. Now we're not even sure if it's going to happen, let alone when it's going to happen. So it's been a pretty down day. Uh, got online a little while ago, and Ron Stoddard from Nightlight, uh, the agency we're using in California, doesn't know any more than what he did yesterday. So right now we're just up in the air and uh, trying not to get your mother uh, fill her in with all the details because I don't want to drag her down. So as soon as I hear anything else, I'll, I'll let you know, okay? Oh, by the way, Grandma Gettle uh, bought us some borders to put up in your bedrooms for when you have your own room when you come home. So I just thought you'd want to know. Okay? Love you a bunch. Bye. Well, kids, this is Thanksgiving Day, 1997. This is Mom. This is your Papa. Uh, we just wanted to let you know that we still haven't gotten a referral on you guys yet, but we're anxiously waiting. Uh, actually, we're checking the answer machine every day, waiting to get something in the mail, but no answer yet so we'll keep hoping keeping hope alive we're praying for you and hoping that you're going to be here soon because we sure want to see you so hang in there um, and we'll see you here as soon as possible okay hi kids this is the 15th of december and your mother got a phone call at work today and i would like her to tell you about it so here she is, fixing her dinner. Tell them what happened. Say what happened. I got a call today from Ron Stoddard, and he gave us your referral. And we're waiting right now for them to FedEx the videos over so you can have a look. 
and we're anxious to see them, and we just can't wait until tomorrow. Well, you just heard your mom talk about the referral. We're very excited about this. Um, it's just like this day's finally come. It's, it's, we're really excited about it. So I'm trying not to call anybody and let them all know, let my parents know. Your grandfather Carver's out of town. He's in California today. So he'll be getting in ho hopefully tomorrow, but I'm not sure. It might be even Wednesday or Thursday. So then i got to wait till then to let him know, uh, let mom know. So um, uh, we'll update you again on what the history's like of waiting. And uh, I think you'll get a kick out of this tape, I hope, in several years. So uh, I'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Alright kids, this is the big day. We find out who you are that we're who we're gonna adopt. Uh, we just got the package just got in the house a little while ago, about a half an hour ago or so. It's twenty of three. Mom isn't home yet. She's gotta stop at the bank before she comes home. And then we're gonna watch the videotape together and decide um, who Matthew is and who Rebecca is. So I'll update you later today. Maybe I'll have my one here with me. So, we'll let you know, of course. Okay? Can't wait to see you. Oh, man. I couldn't sleep at all last night because Mom got the phone call. Uh, last night. I think you heard about that. Or yesterday at work, rather. And, um, I heard about it when she got home. She, she told me. And I just couldn't sleep. Um, and Mom's saying, stop tossing it's hard. I just was so excited. I couldn't, couldn't sleep. So today's the big day, and I'm told that uh, our court day is going to be sometime in February. This is December, so we're going to have to wait a few more months in order to bring you home. Okay, talk to you soon. Hi kids, this is uh, February 2nd, uh, 1998, and we're just a couple of days away from leaving to come to Russia to pick you up. We leave on Friday night, which is going to be the 6th of February. We leave at 6.20. Uh, it's going to be a long flight overnight, but we really can't wait. The court date is scheduled for February 11th, which is the following Wednesday. Um, we're, we just, I can't even express how excited we are. Uh, what I'd like to do is take you on a little tour of what your house is going to look like, or has looked like. Uh, when you came home, um, we had, we've, we had a wet um, adoption shower. Some friends and family, uh, quite a few people actually, had a shower for us uh, this past Saturday, the 31st, at uh, a fire hall place, luncheon place in uh, Towson. Lots of clothes for you guys, lots of toys. It's just, we just got so much stuff, it's incredible for you guys. So I'd like to take you on a tour uh, so you can remember or look back and see these pictures and remember how the house looked and how your new bedrooms looked. So we're very excited about it, so I'm going to show you around right now, okay? Bye. This is your playroom. This is in the basement. All these. There's the dog, Ashley. You remember Ashley? She's still here. She just got a haircut about a week and a half ago. So Ashley's still here. Got a bunch of toys here on the shelf. Some toys here. Some toys here. A kitchen set. And a Winnie the Pooh house. And a rug. This is this is the basement. I'm sure when you watch this, when you get older, you'll remember it. Okay. This is Dad's office. I know you're going to remember this. I'm sure you'll be sitting in, in that chair with me a lot of times. And in here, Granddad Gettle turned a stereo into a toy box. So if you look down in it, there's a bunch of toys in here. See all that? Your granddad Gettle made that. He turned this stereo into a toy box. 
There's your dad. Now I'm going to take you upstairs and show you your bedrooms. Okay? Matthew, this is your room. I'm sure you'll remember this. The Winnie the Pooh wallpaper. And the curtains. And the Winnie the Pooh bed. I'm told you never had a bed of your own in Russia. I sure love you guys. And then dad and mom bought you a toy box. It's also a bench. Of course inside are toys. But you'd never seen all these toys before when you were in Russia. Uh, we can't wait to get you guys here. Oh my goodness, we're so excited. We even have Winnie the Pooh on the fan blades. Mom did all this. Mom did all the wallpaper, all the painting, all the decorating. She did all of it. She is so excited. Here's your closet. Check this out, Matthew. Would you look at this? Would you look at all these clothes before you even get here? Is that incredible or what? Has God been good? My goodness. Even with the tag still on them. Look at that. I sure hope you guys are going to be happy with, with us. I hope you'll love us as much as we love you already. Rebecca, this is your room. Remember this? You've also got a toy box, but Mommy painted it white to match your room. You also have toys in it. It's a little stuck sometimes. Look here, look at all these toys. That monkey, a baby doll. More baby dolls. And you have a Winnie the Pooh room. Excuse me, you have a Minnie Mouse room. Yeah. Look at his beautiful bed. Look at that, your own bed. Isn't it pretty? Your mom decorated the, this room too. Look at this. This is a big room, isn't it? Your dresser. I got this for you a couple weeks ago. It's Barbie. And someone, I think your Aunt Michelle, got you this, win this uh, Minnie Mouse bank. Your brother's got one that's uh, Winnie the Pooh. Well, like I said, we're leaving in just a couple days. So, these next pictures, maybe we'll see video of you. You and your brother. I truly hope that by the time you see this video that you're going to realize that we love you so very much that I can't even express how much we care about you guys and love you and want nothing but the very best for you. We love you so very much. Your mom, your mom actually cried on the way back from the shower Saturday. She was so touched that so many people care so many people love two children they've never seen before it's just phenomenal it just it just blew us away so we're gonna see you um, it's gonna be a week today in fact we'll probably see you a week from today uh, we're very excited um, both your grandparents granddad Grandma and Ghetto are very excited to see you. And uh, Grandma and Pop Pop Carver are also very excited to see you. Um, Aunt Michelle and Aunt Shannon, Crim Uncle Chris, all of them, Aunt Candy, everybody's really excited. So um, I'll talk to you soon. Again, this is February, early part of February. So.
We'll talk again. I love you. This is December 29th, uh, 1998. It's been a long time since you've seen me on video. Um, a whole lot's happened in the last several months. Your mom and I are going to be talking on video, sharing some information that's happened in the last year. Probably come the first anniversary of you guys being here. But today I'd like to share a little information of how the holidays went. Uh, your first Christmas. The weeks before uh, Christmas came, uh, both of you were very, very, obviously very, very excited. We sat on Santa Claus's lap twice, um, and both times uh, guys didn't cry, you weren't afraid of them or anything. You weren't exactly sure in the beginning of what Christmas was all about, but the closer we got and the more we talked about it and the more videos we showed, uh, it was more obvious what Christmas was all about. I, I can recall when um, Matthew was, was getting very close to the holidays, um, especially in the last week, you would say, uh, you know, three days left, two days left, one day left. Those, it was really exciting. We had uh, Christmas, we spent Christmas morning here at the house, and it was just an overwhelming experience. You guys were running back and forth in the hall upstairs, and uh, really really excited it was of course our first Christmas being parents and uh, you guys got a lot of toys a lot of clothes both from Santa Claus and mommy and daddy and your grandparents but more I guess more more than that it was the fact that you guys were here more than the gifts more than all the nice things more than a holiday but it was truly a Christmas too to remember because we had you two. You guys have turned out to be beautiful, beautiful kids. I, I can't imagine not having you here. Uh, my, your grandparents, my, my parents, and your mom's parents, uh, they can't imagine you being here. Everybody has um, welcomed you into the family. It was as if you've always been with us. Uh, you guys are always on my mind every time I'm at work or uh, wherever I am I think about you guys all the time um, I'm faced with a situation right now in late December 1998 and I've been putting in a whole lot of hours at work and uh, your mom and I have been talking that uh, I don't see you guys that much and by the time you see this you may or may not remember this time in your life but just know that I'm just trying to keep a roof over your head it's very important to me because it was very important for your mom to stay home. I did not want her working outside of the home. I wanted her to spend her time with you two. I felt that was very important and I still do. And I'm trying to, to be that dad that I know I should be as well as um, the guy who makes the money to get you the things you want, the clothes you want, the toys you want, the nice things, the home. So I'm, I'm trying to find that happy medium, and it's not, it's not been very easy. I just want you to know, guys, that I, I cannot imagine now life without you two. I love you two so much. Your mom and I are now talking about uh, adopting another child from Russia again. Maybe by the end of next year or the beginning of, ne of the following, we don't know for sure. But uh, we really care about you guys a lot. And your mom has made a great mom. I mean, of course, I think you know we we have been trying to have kids for nine years and couldn't. And uh, God's blessed us with you two, and she's. You guys are so blessed to have a mom like the mom you have. She is the greatest. Uh, I, I I come home. Uh, many times, and I've seen you guys work on projects together, be it something you hang on the door, or, or a necklace, or a ring, or something for, for the holidays, or birthdays, or drawing pictures, or painting. You guys are really blessed to have a mom like the one you have. Just know that there is a reason why um, you're here. I don't understand why 
things happen the way they did in Russia. But there is a reason for everything. You guys are very, very special to us. Just, we want to make that very clear. So the older you get, maybe we're going to grow distant. I, I don't know. I hope not. But a lot of times when you become a teenager, you think you know everything and you think that's pretty dumb. But um, just know that I'm out for your, your, your best interest and I love you guys. We love you guys so much. I just can't even express it the way I really want to on videotape. But one, one day when you grow up, when you get bigger, when you see this, um, hopefully um, I'll have done the right thing. I've, I'll have raised you right to where you'll be a strong man and woman. I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm doing the very best I can. I really am. So we'll talk again soon. I love you.